Louis Lamb is going to be our next speaker. He's coming to us from Brazil, where he's a professor of computer science, but also a secretary of state for his province. I, I don't think anybody else on our panel um, is quite so uh, high up in the political order of their nation. Um, he's also, in addition to all that, a pioneer in neurosymbolic models. Um, he's a co-author of a 2009 book called Neurosymbolic Cognitive Reasoning with Arturo de Villa Garces. Um, and also with Arturo de Villa Garces, Neurosymbolic AI, The Third Wave. Um, these are both terrific works. He will not show all of those slides in the same uh, order, but here we go in a second. The second, yeah. Well, welcome, Lewis. Thank you, Gary. Indeed, you are an inspiration. A lot of our work. Uh, build upon your work since the 90s and work by Judy Pearl and many of our heroes here. So this is joint work with Arthur Garces in, and in honor of uh, the scientific revolution we are having now, I also have the honor to present this picture that is very well known. And um, the reading that we have for this talk is a paper called Neurosymbolic AI, the third wave that we re recently posted on uh, on archive and it uh, summarizes over 20 years of research in this field and over the last year and at AAAI this year uh, there, there has been a lot of convergence as Gary Marcus has said and Francesca and Daniel who are both here today and uh, Gary have been defending the importance of building hybrid models so that one can uh, aim at, at building uh, integrated learning and reasoning systems in AI the so-called AI systems one and two that also borrow inspiration from Daniel Kahneman who is here today. And uh, this has also been a big challenge in AI and big challenge in science as Fei Fei mentioned about uh, uh, ancient results in science and in human endeavor towards knowledge. Uh, um, Les Valiant in one of his books has said that the tension between reasoning and learning has a long history reaching back at least as far as Aristotle. So we know that uh, in terms of science evolving, what we want to do here is exactly this convergence because one of the key questions is to identify the building blocks of AI and how to make uh, AI more trustworthy, AI explainable, but not only explainable, interpretable as well. So uh, in order to make AI interpretable sound, and to use the uh, right models, right computational models so that one can explain what's going on in AI, we need better representations. We need models that are sound and soundness and the results that come from logic, the correctness results, and all of that can benefit, of course, the great results we are having on deep learning. So our work corroborates this point that uh, uh, Gary Marcus made and also that uh, Danny Kahneman made at AAAI, that system one, I mean the fast system one that's associated with concepts like deep learning, certainly knows language, as Daniel Kahneman said, and system two, which is more reflective, certainly does involve certain manipulation of symbols. So this analogy of system one and two leads us to build the ideas that are the inspiration, the inspiration that uh, Gary brought in his book, the algebraic, the algebraic Mind, and also that we formalized in several neurosymbolic systems since the early 2000s, and some of them, several of them, temporal reasoning, model reasoning, reasoning about knowledge are formalized in this book. And of course, we have been evolving this concept so that we, one can deal with combinatorial explosion and several other symbolic problems within a neurosymbolic framework. And so the approach that we have been defending over the years is that we need a foundational approach for neurosymbolic computing, neurosymbolic AI that's based both on logical formalization, and we have Francesca here, Judy Pearl, that have been, that have been outstanding results on symbolic AI and machine learning. And we use logic and knowledge representation to represent the reasoning process that is integrated with, with machine learning systems so that we can also effective, effectively perform neural learning using deep learning machinery. So our approach has been tested in training assessment simulators by TNO. 
which is a, a, a Dutch subsidiary of the government. It has been applied in robotics and AI and several other applications. But what we offer here is a sound way, including some formal results that our neurosymbolic systems, in order so that we can have more effective and more trustful AI, we need uh, to have models, interpretive models that are based on sound logical models. And in this way, we can explain what the neural learning process is doing at the same way that we can prove that the results that we obtain via machine learning can even be related to the formal results that one typically expects from symbolic logic. For instance, here in a system that we call connectionist model logic, which was, by the way, published in the same issue of neurocomputation that Jeff Hinton published one of his influential paper on deep belief nets. We proved that uh, model and temporal logic programs can be computed soundly in neural network models. So in this way, what we provide in a way is a way of providing neural networks as a learning system, which can also learn to compute in a deep way the evolution of knowledge in time. And this is what we explain in several of our papers and also in recent work that we published, Gary, in, um, in uh, IIII 2019 and now each guy 2020 where we present a survey paper. So the, 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 the final message here is that there have been some developments including uh, the AI debate, the great AI debate between Benjo and uh, Gary Marcus last year, which we saw also at AAAI 2020 that we need more convergency towards building more effective AI systems and AI systems that most people can trust since AI is becoming a lingua franca for science these days. Thank you, Gary, for my first three minutes. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us.